Hello, this is my tutorial of how to connect the new Wi-Fi quite cheap module, the ESP8266. It got eight pins, two LEDs, the power which is currently on, which is red, and another one below it, which is blue. very small module very cheap about three dollars I've connected it to my Arduino Mega the Arduino Mega isn't functioning right now just to connect it to a USB to communicate via the UART. This module works on 3.3 volts. According to the specs, it takes a lot of current. Therefore, I used this external power supply pointed at 3.3 volts. Now, let's see it in action. This is the terminal. This will list all the Wi-Fi networks around. Quite nice. Shows all the networks. This is the version I'm running. I can also see my IP. Now we're going to see the pin setup how to connect it. The model is quite cheap. This is why you should always buy at least two units of it. Very small and very nice. Now look, let's look at the pin layout and how to connect it. This is the module. Here you can see something else that I bought via mail. Light sensitive resistors. 50 pieces costed about two, two and something dollars. My next video. Now let's get to the business. This is the module. Uh, let's place it like this. It got eight pins. This is the layout. This is a ground. This pen sucks. This is TX. This is VCC. And this is RX. This is CHPD. This is GPO2. And this is GPO3. 
zero and this is the reset for regular operation this is connected to the Arduino RX and this is connected to the Arduino TX uh, in my combination setup I connected TX to TX and RX to RX because I'm not actually using the Arduino, just the communication part to source it via the terminal I use by the way the program called call term VCC is only 3.3 volt do not, I repeat, do not connect it to 5 volts unless you want to see a nice smoke and burn it reset and GPO2 are not connected, not used and C means no connection We only have CHPD and GPIO 0. Both of them, CHPD and GPIO 0, connected to VCC. This is in normal usage. If you want to upgrade the firmware, you must replace the VCC of GPI0 into ground. Now remember, RX to TX, RX, my mistake, RX of the module to the Arduino TX, and the TX of the module into the Arduino RX. This is if you wish to communicate the Arduino with this module. If you want to communicate via a terminal software and only use uh, the Arduino as the communication part to the module, you connect RX to RX and TX to TX. Also, I saw on the web that you ought to use a level converter from 5V to 3.3V but on my side it works well but do what you have to do that's all for now and something more important here it is visible on the Wi-Fi list the ESP this is funny I'm using my Samsung phone with my wife's phone to show Wi-Fi network. Nice.